Cora is the place where you see in tourist magazines of Greece. It's amazing. Yeah, they're my favorite Greek gods, so I was like, I have to come to the heartland. But it does taste like a gay time. Seeing this weather, you can't not. You have to have ice cream. Hello from Mykonos, um, specifically Hora. We're in the capital of Mykonos, which is the main town of Hora. Um, in this video, we're gonna go through and do absolutely everything we can see and do in this town um, on the island of Mykonos. The only thing we won't be doing will be the beaches because we are on the west coast of Mykonos, which is the town and civilization. And then the south and then the east are kind of all the beaches. Southwest is all the fancy beaches where it's like 250 euros to get a sunbed. So we won't be seeing that unfortunately, but. So we have started our morning. We got up early and we came down to the old town in Hora and we we're just taking some snaps um, of all the beautiful village because in Hora is the place where you see in tourist magazines of Greece. It is this place because as you can see, it's amazing. It's got the, um, would you, I think it's cement um, rendering on everything to be white and then blue accents everywhere. So it's so perfect for any photographers, Instagrammers, whoever you are. Um, but if you come down later in the day, all the shops will be open and it's a bit more dynamic, but we don't want that right now. And Mykonos and, and um, Hora in specifically were a bit smaller than I anticipated, which was a bit funny just on perception. Last night we got in, by the time we got everything sorted, we were so tired that we couldn't really appreciate it for what it is. So it's nice to come back today fresh minded to get into it. So yeah, let's go. Getting out of this old town is a bit of a maze. I feel like I'm in Venice again. <laughs> the key is to get out before the cruise works. So we just made it. <laughs> so in the bay, the most southern peninsula has these windmills, which is what Mykonos is kind of known for. Um, they're right next to the car park. You really can't miss them. Mykonos is known as the Windy City, which is ironic because it's not windy at all and it was windy everywhere else we've been. <laughs> but um, that's why it's known we have for, that's why it's known for having windmills. Um, and they used to have little flags on the edge so you could see them going around, but they're not functional now, they're just a tourist attraction. But um, it's very cool to have the windmills looking out onto the ocean, so definitely must do. Can't really miss it um, when you're in Mykonos. Makes for a good Instagram. jumped on our ferry to Delos and we almost missed it and Daniel's like taking it well. I like Jack out of Titanic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just won the, just won the card game and then He's sprinted like, on board. That is actually very accurate to what you did. Daniel, when he stressed his runs rather than ask questions. Not helping. Okay, so we have just made it to the island of Delos. So you catch the ferry over from Mykonos. It was, it was 20 return and then 12 to get in. Um, you can't buy them together, so you've got to buy the ticket there. Don't make the mistake we did. Make sure you go to collect it, even if you buy online, because we bought online to skip the queue. Um, but once you get here, it's very cool. Um, you can buy your return in one go, just so I don't scare you off that. But the uh, ruins here look amazing. It's like proper Greek ruins of like Hercules vibes. Yeah, it's very cool. And there's some good history behind it as well. Yeah. And it's been... So it's a huge part of like culture as well as mythology. So this is the island that Apollo and um, Artemis. Artemis. The twin gods. Yeah. The um, twins of Zeus. And then they were born here according to mythology. Um, Apollo was like the jock. <laughs> 
he was like everyone loved him he was great he loved himself and then Artemis was probably history's first feminist because she was like a warrior didn't want no man like never got married never had kids she just was like the leader of the army so yeah they're my favorite Greek gods so I was like I have to come to this island I've considered calling a child Artemis but I think it's a boy it sounds like a boy name but, I think it be was a, but it was a girl drama I don't want <laughs> if I can get away with calling it a boy name straight up my kid will be called Artemis One of the largest houses in the theatre quarter is the House of Dionysus. In the middle of the large peristyle court, there is an exceptional mosaic emblem <laughs> representing Dionysus that has given the name to the house. Dionysus is the god of creative power that fertilizes nature. He who, by granting humanity the divine gift of vine, of the vine, not we know. The wine. <laughs> vine, no, actual wine. Allowed men to become equal if only for a short while. Um, to the gods, it was an extremely popular in Delos as well as the neighbouring Mykonos. So we've made it to the theatre on Delos. Delos. Um, so it's pretty well intact that you can still see all the seats and stairs all the way up the edge. It kind of looks like it's like an amphitheatre, but it looks like um, sports theatre, but it's not. It's like musical theatre. <laughs> but it's crazy that it's still all here. We made it all the way to the top, finally. It actually wasn't too bad. The only hard thing is that there's no wind, which is unlikely if you ever come to Mykonos, it'll probably be windy, so you'll have a better time than us. But we are at the highest point of Delos. Um, and you can kind of see the whole island here, which is helpful for us to um, see exactly where we're walking because we can track where we're going. Um, but we are currently heading towards the Temple of Zeus. These bugs are big. <laughs> we're heading to the Temple of Zeus. Um, and, and Athena, I think. I think yeah, Zeus it. and Athena because they were husband and wife. And so what Greeks like to do is that they like to put gods on top of mountains because then it's closer to the heavens. So that's why it's a lot of climbing to get to all of these ruins. But... Um, um, we're gonna head in and hopefully they'll be a little bit intact so at the very top there's actually like walls that would have covered the whole top of the mountain so it actually would have had a roof and been a dome um, so you would have come up to like a church essentially on top of this mountain um, and it would have had like a statue of Zeus and probably some mosaics and stuff it's pretty cool if I have a time machine I shall come back to this museum which has everything from sculptures to vases to artworks to mosaics to anything you can want. Most importantly it is shaded so it's a good little pit stop if you've um, been here a while and you need some reprieve but um, it's included so it's really not too bad. Uh, if anyone knows why, please tell me, because I have absolutely no idea. So we are finishing up on Delos, we're catching our ferry back to Mykonos to see the rest of the town. Um, for those who want to know, we spent about three and a half hours here, um, and I think that was 
a good amount of time for us. Yeah. Vibe it out. We don't read everything. We're pretty fast and loose when it comes to museums. But yes, um, keen to get back to Mykonos. Definitely worth the day trip. Yeah, Half day trip even. It's not even that long. No. It's like a 30 minute ferry back. So it's really not that big a deal to get out here. Okay, you're up. So we made it on our ferry um, and we have ferry snacks because there's a bar on here. So we have a drink and then we have some baklava. Yeah, it's like train sandwich. Mm. You really do you call it arse piece of it? It's really good. Oh good. I was gonna be like it's not good. No no it's really good. Still better than any baklava I've had in Australia, but not the best baklava I've had in okay. <laughs> Greece. Well good for theory. Alright, I'll finish it. We just got a gelato, it's vegan, it's chocolate, it's dark chocolate, it's amazing, it's melting. So you have to take my life for it. What was his name? Uh, Ninalo. Oh, the B-roll that's coming up now will be the name of the store. <laughs> I'll go back and film it. So I think I have it under control. <laughs> so I can talk more. It's really nice rich dark chocolate. As you can see, I've been enjoying it. <laughs> we went for the chocolate and cinnamon and biscotti um, cone as well which seemed like a good idea at the time, but now I'm getting covered in it. It's only gonna get worse, but it's cool. Nice. I haven't had ice cream in like years, like outside of Halo Top. Yeah. It's like Italy and Greece are the only places. Perfect. I was gonna say in this weather, you can't not you have to have ice cream. I finally got to the comb. So it's cinnamon and biscotti, and the cone fully tastes like a golden ghee time, which makes no sense to anyone other than Australians. So thumbs up if you know what I mean by golden ghee time, um, and confuse all of the Americans and Europeans. <laughs> <'Cause it> sounds... <laughs> I forgot, yeah, it's a weird sounding <laughs> It trick. sounds weird, but it does taste like a ghee time. Especially in Mykonos. <laughs> romantic dinner between the two of us because a huge part of seeing Mykonos is the food. So we went for three mains which is a bit of and it's all vegan. It's at a restaurant called Nice and Easy. Yep, Nice and Easy like the diet plan. Uh, they have a whole vegan menu which is great um, and we've ordered what wild mushrooms which looks like it has better but really it's tofu. What do you call this again? Arugula? It's, it's stuffed tomatoes and peppers. Yeah. Um, it's a traditional Greek dish, and then we also have some grilled avocado and zucchini like pasta um, to try, which is going to be great. Um, and we're on the seaside right before sunset, so we tried to plan it that we'd be here for sunset, but they brought the food up so fast, we have to eat very slow. <laughs> It's really good. It tastes different, but it's very flavoursome. It's like um, maybe like coriander, maybe a bit, a bit of mint I'm tasting, lemon. Really good. And then a chip. <laughs> I'm a classy eater. This restaurant is situated in Little Venice, so you can see Little Venice behind me, which is really nice. Um, you can have the grilled mushrooms. Like olive oil and garlic and salt and chives, maybe? It's very nice. Daniel definitely needs to eat some, otherwise, I'm gonna stink like garlic. <laughs> well, the fasting is my least favorite, but it's actually pretty refreshing. Um, all these are quite chaos, but they're all good, like I wouldn't be sad of any of them, so all good. Where we were for dinner, we were sitting in Little Venice, um, so we had a view of Little Venice uh, and also the windmills, which was amazing for the sunset. So now, 
we have, our bellies are full so we're just gonna walk around the old town for a little bit more because we didn't get enough of it today and then head back to bed so if you like this video give it a thumbs up tell me in the comments if there's anything else i should do and make more while i'm here um and remember hit subscribe so i can see you tomorrow because we have an amazing day tomorrow it's going to be like all extreme sports um all extreme water sports specifically and we're going to do every beach in mykonos so make sure you keep that